Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how to configure ExaDBD cross region data card. I am Sneha and let's get started. This architecture shows a secure, high performance cross region Oracle ExaData database service with Oracle Data Card replication. Here, the remote peering allows the VCN's resources to communicate using private IP addresses without routing the traffic over the internet or through your on-premises network. Here are some important requirements before enabling data guard association across the regions. Configure remote VCN peering between the primary and standby databases. Configure ingress and egress security rules for the subnets to enable TCP traffic to move between the applicable ports. Kindly refer to the link mentioned here for more details. Also, ensure the sys password and the TD wallet password of the primary and standby databases must all be the same. In the demo that will follow, here are the primary and standby environment details. Now let's enable data card association. Select the database that you want to create the data card. So as you can see here, the status is not yet enabled. Under resources, go to data card associations, click on enable data card. Enter your peer region. I've selected your Amsterdam. Select your availability domain. Select your compartment. Select your infrastructure, then select your VM cluster. Now you can choose either active data card or data card. In our case, we have now selected active data card. Now for cross region, you can only currently uh, select the mode as maximum uh, performance with async. Then select your home. You can select an existing database home or create a new database home. Enter your password and enable data card. So this will take few minutes. You can monitor your work request, go to create data card and you can monitor this. So if there's any error, it will be displayed here under the error messages. Okay, you can also verify the log files. So as you see here, you can verify the log files. And if you go scroll down to the bottom, you can check all the verify related. You can check all the verify parameters over here. Okay, so this is the location where you can see the log file. Now, similarly on the standby, you can, uh, you can monitor the verify log file. Here are the parameters that are considered. So if there's any failure, it will be displayed over here. The same location. Okay, so the create data card association is now successful and you see that the status is enabled. So we go back to the data card association and if you see here in Amsterdam, the peer role is a uh, standby and we have created an active data card. Let's do a role change. Let's start with the switch over. So as you can see, we are going to the primary database, click on the data card association and you have the switch over option. Just click on it. You can monitor the work request. Switch over data card, which is in progress.
Okay, the switch over has been completed successfully. So you can see the Frankfurt, uh, the primary database is now as a standby database. And in Amsterdam, the peer role has changed to primary. And the Frankfurt has been changed to standby. Now let's do a failover. To failover, go to your standby database. In our case, we are in Frankfurt. Go to Data Guard Associations. Click on Failover. Provide the database admin password and click OK. You can monitor the work request. It is now successful. So we have successfully failed over the database. So as you can see, the database role is now standby in Frankfurt has been converted to primary. After the failover, let's see how to reinstate the standby database. After the failover, we have to now reinstate the standby database because it will be in a disabled standby. So as you can see the peer role, it is in a disabled standby state. So just go and click on the reinstate option. To monitor, click on the work request and you can monitor the work request here. The reinstate is now successfully completed. So go back to your data card associations and if you see the peer role is now changed to standby it was earlier disabled standby thank you for watching